Good morning. You're probably wondering, why has he got shades on when it's so overcast? Well, it's simple. I'm trying to usher in summer by putting on the sunnies, mate. So anyway, before we get started, do me a favor, hit the like button, because it really does help with the algorithm and it helps the videos get out there, and I can show you guys more stuff. And if you like the channel, subscribe. Yes, that is ice crunching under my feet. It is a brisk minus four degrees celsius or as you americans would say 24 degrees fahrenheit now before we get started with the video i just want to give a shout out to um tony at extreme auto sound because he hooked me up with um with a good deal on some audio equipment and chris walker thank you so much mate for helping me get it done anyway so what we're doing today is we're heading down the shop and um we are going to be installing some speakers into the g8 today and I've got some other audio equipment to show you as well. Now, last video I made, I told you about the ILX409. Well, we're gonna be using the 309. So apparently what the 409 is, is a updated version with less features. So it's a little cheaper. I think you pick them up for about 699, something like that. And the ILX309, I believe is between 1,000 and 1,500, depending on where you get it. And I'm pretty sure they're all on back order. So. Without further ado, I think we covered everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's head on down to the shop. I'll see you guys there. all right so we made it to the shop obviously and uh we're going to start getting some of this stuff laid out to start this install So, not gonna be doing the whole install today, but yeah, we'll do some of the install. So I just showed you the components, and um, so yeah, let's get into it and start putting some stuff in this car. So Dan, who is this dude right here, hey buddy, redid this whole thing that we got from Ortiz Customs. They destroyed this thing. Look at this, look how smooth that is. When, we, when I opened the package from Ortiz, I was like dumbfounded at how bad that was. It was pretty much trash, correct? Yeah, it was broken by the time I started getting all the cracks out from where they sent it. Two of the pods had busted out, so I cut it all back out, re two parted it, did it the proper way, and now it's a presentable piece. Yep, so you run new PVC piping in here, and the thing looks smooth. So obviously it's still in primer right now. But anyway, so what we're doing right now, see these cables? Let's have a look at this. All right, right. So this cable is basically eight speaker wires and a remote channel. So if we run two of these, we'll basically be able to run seven, seven channels plus the remote. So that's what we're about to do now. So Dan's gonna basically utilize this channel right this here. channel in behind these floor braces and get it all the way up to the front. Yep, so that's what we're doing right now. fits this is gonna be the hard part Set that there there's the other end 
So Dan's run the uh, two wires up through the up through here basically and down around here. So they're in there. Awesome. Alright, so on the other side what we're gonna do is run the uh, our RCA leads. Uh, here we go. So basically I've got three sets of leads here and basically we've taped them up every four inches or so and that's it. So we'll be running them right down the other side. Straight down here and then obviously just up straight in through the, into the trunk. There we are. Alright, so here's our component speakers. The front door. Okay, our tweeters. Um, mains and our little drivers. So these are the new six and a half inch Alpines and they, they mount up with the there's the spacer ring that we used right there. And they mount up to the factory uh, pod. So basically going from five and a quarter papers to six and uh, six and a half six and a half alpine, alpine type bars. bars look at the difference beautiful all right so here we have the new back door speakers so basically you have your cone and tweeter all together in one So here we got the original paper rear and the new, I guess what is it, Kevlar and stuff? Uh, sometimes they're different. These are not paper. It'll, I'm not sure what the Type R is made of. Right. But it's better than paper. Exactly. And then we've got the original mounting housing, if you want to call it. And then that's the ring that comes in the box. So she basically is plug and play. So the speaker is hitting inside here on this edge so we're going to trim that out so we can still use the factory mount but open it up to accept the six and a half so this is our RE90S amp is it six channel, mate? Yep. Flip it around. So obviously this is the stock tweeter housing and it sits in behind that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tweeter and cut a hole in there. And basically this on the back has a screw in and it'll just mount straight there. And then they're directional. It's pretty cool. That's what's gonna happen there. Comparisons. There's the new tweeter, and where is it? There's the old tweeter, right there. And we've got a new signature. It's obviously up there. So this is the ILX 309 receiver, and you can see it's a single DIN. And then show the bracket on the back real quick on the other side. There we go. Basically, and it connects right here. So it goes like that, and that's the. Uh, 309 screen all right you can see the obvious difference i mean look at this screen it's, it's crazy the the size difference then you've got your dual climate controls down here and your old climate controls on this one but um look at this look at these gauge pods so basically when they have air fuel uh oil pressure and temp, uh trans temp right there so that's pretty much it all right guys so that was 
part one of the audio install, uh, just the speakers and whatnot. I don't know why I said whatnot, that's such an Australian thing to say. But yeah, so the four speakers are in, um, the speaker wires run from the front where the head unit's gonna go to the trunk. So that's all uh, done ready for plug-in with the uh, amp and whatnot. I said whatnot again, bloody hell. Old habits die hard, don't they? So yeah, that's it. So I will try and get some more footage once we start getting the amp and the uh, head unit and everything in. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, hit the like button for me if you will. If you like the content, subscribe, mate, because, you know, there's heaps of stuff coming, heaps of good stuff. I've got so many ideas, but you know what? You know what I don't have is time. I run out of time so often. So anyway, that's about where we stand. Um, appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, peace out. There'll be heaps more. Thank you.